Well, ladies and gentlemen, as Bunny says, welcome back for another edition of Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper. Here we are. Uh, now, what was the last thing we were doing? <laughs> Hold on, it's been, a little, it's been like a week since I played. I don't even remember what's going on here. Now, the perfume atomizer. See my notes were. Now we finished the perfume. Then we're going back to the boudoir. <laughs> you know, it's actually pretty interesting. I went back and um, I did finish the whole thing, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, I remember. I went back and I um, I was listening to some. Uh, documentaries about about uh, on Embury Street. Okay, Whitechapel. Let's see. Well, I'm going to Whitechapel, I guess. There we go. And I'm looking at Lordy. No, not the boarding house, it was the bottle. Here we go. Um, I was watching some documentaries. Fine, I have to go to the brothel. Okay, did I? Yes. Okay, I'm here at the, here at the brothel. Yes, okay. What was he? Okay. Um, I was watching documentaries on uh, Jack the Rapper. And I was surprised at how uh, accurate the story is, uh, the story follows along, uh, uh, how much they actually put into it, the, st the street names and, um, or the game, I mean, puts into it, the street names and all the different places and, uh, the, the, the way the crimes are committed and that type of thing. So, my dear man, have you reached a verdict? I have distinguished the good perfumes from the bad, but even the good ones are nothing more than common sense for adolescents. <sighs> Who cares? It'll freshen up a few of my girls. Wait, there's a perfume here called Valerian. What is it? It's not really a perfume, technically speaking, unless you like cats. It's more of a kind of medicine. It smells strange. I don't really like it. Here, I can give it to you. And I have some information. Squibby is most assuredly locked up at the police station hereabouts. It would also seem that he's the one who doesn't want to come out. Hmm. Okay. Do you know someone by the name of Danny? Danny? Big Danny Nutcracker? Ah, the one who hates cats? <laughs> That's the one. You're interested in that kind of bird? Ah. Be like dipping your biscuit in a pig's trough. She's dangerous, a real cyclone. So beware. And her appearance. She claims to adore perfumes. Huh. She'd need this whole box to smell sweet. I doubt it'll take much to make Danny cooperate. Uh, perhaps by offering her a little gift. Let's go to the police station. <laughs> okay. Apparently we're going to see Danny, the, uh, the big woman. Bella will help you, sir. Okay. And, um... <laughs> we're gonna give her the Valerian. Now, I think that's Valerian root. Which I think is, like... Is equivalent of, like, kitty litter for cat... Um... Not kitty litter for, um... Uh, catnip for cats. So... <laughs> I think that's what they're talking about. Yeah, I think it's... I have no reason to go that way. Oh. And I believe that's accurate. Can I get to the police station from here? Let's walk. Yes, I can, right? Yes. It's nice for a walk. Ooh, the smog is making the game run a little choppy. Ah, Slovnovich. Oh, can I go in there? No, okay. The, okay. 
Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> Let me find them. Let me go back to the police station here. Which way did I go? Oh, I went down here and I'm at the... Oh, the lost nest. That's where I am. I'm down that area. So if I turn around and go straight... Oh, okay, I'm on a big road. Yeah, if I head to the end here. I should go to the police station anyway. I think, right? Uh, I'm gonna try to walk. Let me see if I can walk there. Now I'm on Whitechapel Street, so that's that's the hospital, isn't it? Yes, it is. Am I, wow, am I at this hospital? Yeah, that's the hospital. So... Okay, I'm at the other end. Let me, let me go back to the Bravo. I'm gonna try to walk from here. Okay. Well, I have to be careful. I accidentally hit the... Uh, one of my other recordings, I actually didn't like hit the key. I turned the video off in the middle of it. My mouse is close to my keyboard. I have no reason to go that way. No. Okay. Commercial Street. Let me see here. Okay, Lucy's Lodgings. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. That's right. This is Lucy's Lodgings right here. Actually, I only hit the, hit the key to turn off my uh, recording. Yeah, here's the police station. Yep. Oh, that's it. Just walk down the street, huh? Yep. Here's Big Danny. <laughs> but uh, my mouse is close to my keyboard, and I every time I move it, the I have to keep it sort of close because the wire it's the way the wire is, and it sort of messes up and it pulls them pulls on the mouse. And uh, so I sort of yank it, because otherwise it drags the mouse sort of across the screen a little bit like this. So uh, I have to sort of yank it, and when I yank it, I smack into my keyboard sometimes. Okay, let's talk to Danny here. Big Danny. You still there, honey pie? Okay. Oh, wait. I'll be back. You do that. Oh, wait. Um... Oh, I have to have the... Here we go. Oh, maybe they... Oh, wait. You know what? They might make me mix the items together. Here we go. Valerian or Capon's Tail. Perfume. Okay. Let's give it to her. Here we go. Do you remember me? Would you be kind enough to help me by telling me how many policemen are inside in exchange for this bottle of perfume? Yeah, you like it. It's... There ain't much in the station. It was pretty busy, but now there's only one constable, dearie. Hmm. There we are. Now Danny has been sprayed with valerian, a scent that's irresistible to cats. I must create a diversion in the street to make the policeman come out, but I need some cats. Lots of cats. To the pet shop. <laughs> I must go to the pet shop. Very strange. This is a very strange puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Alright, the pet shop, huh? Alright, now. Do I have that on my map? Where is the pet shop? It should be close by, right? No, let me see here. Hold on. Clinic, cobbler shop, pet shop. Uh, importer, of importer of exotic animals. <laughs> okay. So into the pet shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, I totally remember this. This is the little kid with his cat. What can I do for you? Um, Bert the cat. So, how is Bert doing? Uh, he'll pull through, but he must eat, and I have no food for him here. We will need to find him some. 
Okay. And where can we get some cat food? We must find Hardiman. He sells meat for cats. It's around this time when he passes the end of the road. You might be in luck. You'll hear him from far away. He was always calling beep, beep. Thank you for everything, Mr. Solomonovich. Okay. So, Pounce, shall we look for the cat food seller? Poor Bert has to be fed, and I might have some work for you and your friends. Okay. Uh, it's funny how that Pounce was the cat, and Bert was the kid. <laughs> But okay. Well, let's see, where's Beep Beep Man? Beep Beep! There he is. Oh. Oh, so what's the name behind me? Come on. We've come to give Pounce a hand. About his cat, you know. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it was the kid. <laughs> Kid's name. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Handy Man. Hardy Man. Beep Beep! Good evening, sir. How do? A little kebab for the cat? Uh, who's playing that god? Who's playing that god awful? These little brats can't <laughs> possibly all be yours. Pardon? Oh, no, none of them. Ah, children, there are pride and joy, and yet. Uh, just let's go to talk about the kebabs here. <laughs> do cats really like kebabs? They adore them. How many would you like? I'll take the lot. I beg your pardon, sir? How much for the lot? For two pounds? They're all yours, my lord. It's a deal. Listen up, my little soldiers. You need to find all the cats in Whitechapel and lead them towards the police station. You'll be armed with delicious kebabs to entice them. Go, as quick as you can now. If my calculations are correct, the cats will be seduced by Danny's odor and will throw themselves on her. That should cause enough of a commotion to get the policeman to come out onto the street. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a riot. Let's watch this. Got to get a bunch of cats. <laughs> okay. Come on now, children. Let the cats alone. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this racket? Calm down. Come on, out. And make those cats shut up. Well, now, let's see what I can do about Squibby. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, we're going to talk to Squibby now, I guess. Uh, uh, wait, were you talking to Squibby, or were you... This must be the door that leads to the cells. Oh, okay. Ooh, what's going on here? Okay, let's see here. Some kind of puzzle. How do I... Okay, what do I do here? I'm <laughs> not sure what I'm doing here. Okay. How do I make it go back? Wait a second. This must be the door that leads to the cells. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I make it go left or right? Here? <laughs> okay, that's right. Who's this left? Oh, is it? Okay, let me... Then how am I... Okay. What's here? Come on. Is there a thing that tells me how to do it? Let's, let's read this stuff first here. 
I shall leave Pluto's treasure at the station. The police will know what to do with it. Oh, really? I shall leave Pluto's treasure at the station. The police will know what to do with it. Oh, okay. So let me take the knife out. Maybe that'll... This must be the door that leads to the cells. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, if I hold the button down. Okay. And then I push left and right. Actually, if I push right, it goes left. If I push left, it goes right. So... How do I... Pretty ingenious, actually, to bend nail like that. But okay, I'm not. How I? Oh my god! <laughs> I randomly let go, and it <laughs> it just it opened. Wow. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, I had no idea how that worked. So, if you happen to be using this as a puzzle guide, just try to do what I did. <laughs> Which is uh, about the 2 o'clock position. I guess that's what it was. And who are you? I've come to talk to you about Tumble Team. Yeah. So you're here to kill me, are you? No. Absolutely not. I've come on behalf of someone you know who told me you have some explosive news about this American. In exchange, he has settled your bill on the kayaks. You ain't no street person, you. You're a bobby trying to wind me up, aren't you? Not at all. Will you agree to talk? Not a chance. I'll give nothing away for nothing. I don't have to follow Bluto's orders. I'm in it up to my neck. And the bobbies won't agree to keep me locked up here for the rest of my life. You mean to say that you are here of your own accord? Mm. Damn right. Only death awaits me out there. I was almost lynched because I was blamed for the murder of those poor girls who were chopped up like animals. The police put me here for my own safety. That's when this journalist showed up. No. Yeah. My journalist. A journalist? I socked him once for disrespecting me down at the pub. He said I'd pay for it one day. Oh. And that day came. He said he was going to squeal to the papers about me. With my description and my tattoos and all, I was arrested at the same time the police said they'd caught the Whitechapel killer. While waiting to write the article, he started the rumour. <laughs> now the streets ain't safe for me no more. Hmm. I understand. Listen, if I find this journalist and make him promise to not write a word about you, and if I also agree to pay for you to get out of London, will you tell me everything you know about Tumblety? You sure know how to speak to ruffians, don't you? You got yourself a deal. What's the name of this journalist? Bulling. Tom Bulling. Tom Bulling? That name sounds familiar. That wouldn't be the journalist that Watson met at the Wasp's Nest. Huh? Ah, no, nothing. I was just thinking aloud. Okay. Well, I'll be going, Squibby. You're right. It ain't healthy here. Squibby, okay. Hey, but what are you up to here, you? Off with you, and make it quick before I take you in. Oh, okay. Let's go to the wasp's nest. What's the name here? Hmm. Oh. Gone. Okay. Wasp nest. No, I can't get there from here, can I? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. It's right down the street. Now, this was that, that drunken, the drunk uh, reporter guy that was down there. I remember him. He was in the wasp nest drinking. Why is the door here? No, if Bluto sees me, it could prove to be quite dangerous. Let's return to Baker Street to change. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, thank you for not making me do that. Uh, thank you, game. Where 
is that guy? Oh, here, okay, let's look at this. Some paper, ink stains. This must be the table where Bulling writes his copy. Okay, this is where he comes. And this is, okay, let's talk about Ender. Evening, a pint for me and have one for yourself. I'm looking for a journalist, a good client of yours. Goes by the name of Bulling. Ring any bells? I haven't seen him for a day or two. He must be sleeping it off somewhere. Where to hide from the landlord when you owe some serious bread? What paper does he work for? I don't know, but I can't believe that he works at his rag because he's always round the pub scribbling his useless papers. The last time I seen him, he spent all day at that table drinking and scratching away from morning till night. He finished by celebrating, and without the help of a rich chap, he would have fleeced me of a guinea. Sounds like a journalist. <laughs> Sounds like a typical journalist. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. That's nothing. Okay, so... Where can I go to... to hmm. I mean, will that open up a... Good evening. There'll be a nice tip in it for you if you can tell me if you recently saw a journalist here. Yes, sir. A damn nuisance, that man. And a real cad. He cursed me out something fierce for staining a book that he put down, even though it was him who was shaking so much that he soiled it with a whole lot of ale. Hmm. A book, huh? He was reading a book? <laughs> Not a real book. A halfpenny rag. He put it down on the ground, and I'll put it in the paper bin for the stove. It should still be there if it weren't already put in the fire. Okay. Goodbye, miss. At your service, me lord. Thank you, really. There we go. Let's take a look. Well, what do we have here? Boy Standard. Published weekly. Now ready. Price, one penny. Numbers 1 and 2, 24 pages, splendidly illustrated, and handsome wrapper. Uh, let's see, we got spring Heeled Jack, the Terror of London. Oh, I actually heard about this as well. This is actually a real thing. Uh, the history of this remarkable being, remarkable being has been uh, specially compiled for this work only by one of the best authors of the day, and our readers will find that he has un undoubtedly succeeded Improving a wonderful and sensational story. The W and the S is of course capitalized. <laughs> uh, and so is B and A and best authors. Uh, every page of which is replete with details of absorbing, thrilling interest. Do they have more on it? No. Uh, not too bad. spring Jack, a fantastical character that terrorizes the population of London. This journalist has some far from cheerful reading. Hmm. Okay. So... Let's return to Baker Street. Tom Bulling isn't here, but the Baker Street Irregulars should be able to track him down. Perhaps Watson will have something to tell me in the morning. Hmm. Okay. Let's do that then. Uh, how do I get to Baker Street again? Or... Oh, here it is, Map of One, London. Okay, Baker Street. Let's return to Baker Street. Oh. Tom Bulling isn't here, but the Baker Street Irregulars should be able to track him down. Perhaps Watson will have something to tell me in the morning. What did I just hit? Oh, okay, here we go. Up at last, Holmes. Were you able to get anything from that crook at the wasp's nest yesterday? Not yet, but I am working on it. And yourself, Watson, what were you able to find out from your colleague about the sale of second-hand female parts? Holmes? Well, actually... Let it be, Watson. It was tiring, no doubt. Well, as soon as I mentioned the possible existence of a black market dealing in human parts, everyone in the hospital became very tense. This silence, therefore, tells us more than anything else at this point. Mm. However, I have trouble believing that such a peculiar dealing as that involving Annie Chapman's uterus could have gone unnoticed in the medical community, if that is indeed what happened. That's my opinion, as well as that of my old university colleague. He maintains that any form of organ trafficking would be impossible, 
not to mention unnecessary. However, he did tell me something rather troubling. The unexplained disappearance of several corpses from the hospital morgue. He has allowed me to investigate, provided I do so discreetly. And here is what I found, concealed in what appeared to be a secret letterbox. Oh, interesting. An encoded message. Indeed. And look, the symbol of a certain well-known Spartaca encyclopedia is printed on it. Perhaps it will help in deciphering the letter. Thank you, Watson. Are you going out again? I promised a new patient, Captain Stenick, I'd go round to examine him. He lives nearby. I may be back before you've had a chance to decipher this mysterious message. Okay, really, so... Am I... Good. Let's decipher the encoded words in the message that Watson found at the London Hospital. Okay, how do I do that? Good. Let's decipher the encoded words in the message that Watson found at the London Hospital. Okay. Well, well I'm gonna... <laughs> wow, well, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> okay. This doesn't look good. I will, I'll, I'll try it for a few minutes, but I think I'll end it here and I'll start up again the next time, but I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. What, what, what is, do I type in or? The index of the Spartaca encyclopedias seems to have a connection with this letter. Okay. Uh, okay, how do I do this here? You must search in the inventory for the two documents that will permit you to solve this, resolve this puzzle. Oh, okay. Next, click on the documents index letters that you will have found and place them on the boxes corresponding to the correct symbols. Wow, every one of those documents? Oh, wow, okay. Well, index letters. Okay, next. Okay, well, let's find the two documents. Okay. Um, let's see here. What do we have here? Okay, well, I would imagine the dark, the black, oh, okay, maybe not, actually. Okay, Captain, okay, black market. Um. Okay, the you okay. <clears throat> okay, this is getting worse because this, I have so many documents now. Uh, let's see. Well, the first document I would imagine is Annie Chapman's death, her uterus, about her uterus. So, just horrible, but... Where is that? Okay, is this Annie Chapman's death, or...? Okay, no. Which one was Annie Chapman's death? Uh, murder in Whitechapel. Murder is dated under... Woman is dated under unspeakable circumstances. Once the heart had stopped, gravity drained the blood. I 
Okay, the back of the hill is even more discreet. Let's let's do let's do that one first. This is the Bucks Row reenactment. the crime was committed and under what conditions. Oh, about the motives. Maybe that one? So, okay. Oh, so what do I... The index of the Spartaca encyclopedias seems to have a connection with this letter. Oh, okay, wait a minute. So, let me use the encyclopedia. Maybe? Is that it? Ah, here we go, I did it right. Okay. Well. So... The first, okay, well, all right, um, okay, I did it right, but that, uh, how do I get the letters up to here, the index? Oh, is this, maybe this isn't right. Maybe this one isn't right, hold on, let me. Do this. Okay, maybe not. Um, coded message. Squibby. Skewer meat. Hmm, maybe the bookseller. I don't have the right documents, so that's a problem. Uh, let's see here. I have one document, I think, the encyclopedia. And what is the other document? Dating the Great Whirly. Let's say maybe... Is this the other document, or? I don't think so. Let me see here, maybe... Yeah, because once I got the right one, they won't, they, they won't put next there. Okay. Yeah, let me... Animals? Can't be a can you? It is. <laughs> okay, so I can now do what? Oh, here we go. The whole alphabet's down the bottom here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So okay, I thought it was maybe twenty six letters here, but uh Oh, okay. Let's take a look here. Looks like uh, I could put each letter to a thing. So, so with the A here. Thank you. Oh, it does them all. Thank you <laughs> very much. Okay. Looks like me, I'm V. Uh, I'm assuming that's V, I, V. No, it can't be. Okay, let's start with the easy letters first. One, two, three, four, etc. Now, let's see if this is actually V. It is. Okay. Let's 
So five e is four. That would be here. Five e would be. I thought five e was fifty actually, but no, v is no. Okay, no. V v. Oh, okay. They use an X, maybe? It is, okay. So it's V I X is what it is. R. Let's do this instead. V V is Okay, that's not there, but uh, no, that can't be right. Okay, what I Okay. No, no, it won't. Okay. Oh, really? So I could have been wrong. Okay, let's, let's start with this here first. What's the light up alright? I'm assuming. So. Let's see if this is correct. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, is that maybe O? It is. Okay. That's not a word I can tell. The I V. Hmm. Well, how's to the V I I? Erase these letters or okay, no, that one lit up so wait a minute, let me hmm. This is this file V, so that's going to be that one. So, is that X? Alright, let me see something here. No. Maybe it is actually. Hold on. No. Um. Let's assume the first word is T. T. It is. How is that T? Okay, let's assume the second letter is H. 
No. I thought maybe it was T-H-E. T is right. Oh, okay, wait. No, whoa. Okay, my time's going real far here. <laughs> Let me, I'll try to figure, I'll look at this a little bit more and try to figure out what's going on, but uh, otherwise, I will see you next episode. Uh, sorry about that. There's just a lot of silence of me sitting here trying to figure out this uh, numerical puzzle here. I'll have to figure it out. Now, look, I think the part of the puzzle is this is T, so why would that be T? Um, five, is it minus? Hmm, not exactly sure. But, okay, uh, thank you for joining me, I'm Buddy Says, and, uh, we'll figure this puzzle out next time, so, uh, goodbye for now.